Good evening and welcome to Bizwell. I'm Adrian Seat. Saim Dabi Barahad will have to fork out a whopping 5.8 billion ringgit to buy all the shares in UMW Holdings Barahad. Yesterday, Saim Darby announced that he will acquire a 61.18 per stake in UMW from Permodala National Barahad PNB for 3.57 billion ringgit based on 5 ringgit per share. According to Hong Leong Investment Bank, Saim Darby will have to extend a mandatory general offer to UMW minority shareholders at the same offer price. The firm said Saim Dabi intends to undertake a comprehensive review of various businesses within UMW to determine the strategic plans for the integration of both entities. This may include a divestment of non-core assets, in addition to competing assets that will be required to be disposed of. The offer price will also be adjusted for any dividend payout prior to the completion of the acquisition. The acquisition offers at 5 ringgit per share is seen as positive as it is 29.9% higher than its current target price of a 3 ringgit 85 cent. Malaysia's Consumer Price Index CPI has cooled to 2% in July, the lowest for the year. Inflation, which came in at 2.4% year-on-year in June, has shown a moderating trend since January when it stood at 3.7%. According to the Department of Statistics Malaysia, DOSEM, the low inflation rate was driven by the slower increase in restaurants and hotels, food and non-alcoholic beverages, followed by miscellaneous goods and services. The component of food at home recorded a slow increase for five consecutive months to 3%. Nine states recorded increases below the national inflation level, with Labuan recording the lowest with 1.1%. However, six states recorded increases above the national inflation level, namely Pahang, Sarawak, Putrajaya, Perak, Selango and Malacca. This week on Money Matters. Malaysia emerges stronger after the pandemic. Valuable lessons to build resilience and manage future crisis. Prioritizing equitable recovery, leveraging technological advancements, and strengthening social safety nets. Join us with World Bank Country Manager for Malaysia, Yasihiko Matsuda. This Saturday at 5 p.m. on TV Higa and the live HD stream on Tuntun. Bank Negara Malaysia, Bank Indonesia and the Bank of Thailand have signed three bilateral MOUs on the framework for cooperation to promote bilateral transactions in local currencies between the countries. The scope of the framework has been expanded to include more eligible cross-border transactions beyond trade and direct investments. The three central banks are committed to strengthening cooperation in the use of local currencies for bilateral transactions. The MOUs were signed on the sidelines of the RC Finance Ministers and Central Bank Governors Meeting in Jakarta, Indonesia. The new framework will also synergize with cross-border payment initiatives. For more accessible and efficient local currency settlements and thus enhancing regional financial market stability. They supersede the MOUs on the local currency settlement framework signed between the three central banks in 2015 and 2016. The government is urged to simplify bureaucratic procedures and reduce regulatory burdens on industrial players during the tabling of Budget 2024. The Federation of Malaysian Manufacturers, FMM, said Pulau Pinang, both the state and federal governments should standardise the discounts for all industries, enterprises and commercial sectors to renew their leasehold land at 90%. The government is also urged to increase the limit of the SME digitalization grant scheme. Currently, local companies can receive subsidies of 50% or up to a maximum of 5,000 ringgit. FMM hopes that the government would continuously facilitate the implementation of the Industrial Linkage Program, ILP, as the program would enable SMEs to explore business opportunities in the global supply chain to create a pool of suppliers who can generate or add value to the economy. Since its launch in 2021, the program has successfully secured 22 anchor companies and 196 supplier companies. And that's all the time we have for BizWorld this time around. I'm Adrian Seed. Thank you for investing your time with us and stay tuned.